Hello everybody and a very good morning to one and all who have come for this webinar on automated testing. To start this webinar, let's have a word of prayer. Prayer. A loving and most dear Heavenly Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you and praise you Lord for this wonderful moment you have graciously given to look to your face Lord. Lord, at the start of this webinar on automated testing, we look to your face Lord. Lord, we seek your wisdom, your knowledge, your strength, your power and your grace Lord. Lord, we commit the resource person. Engineer Aaron Silva Dennis, we commit the organizers and we commit all the participants into your precious hand, Lord. Bless us, lead us, and guide us, Lord. Lord, as your word says, the horse is made ready for the battle. Victory comes from the Lord. Grant us victory in all our endeavors, endeavors and bless us, lead us, and guide us, Lord. Let your will be done and let your name be magnified. We give you all the glory. We offer all this prayer in the most precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So, at the outset, it's my immense pleasure to welcome you, one and all. Who have come for this webinar with a grateful heart to the Lord Almighty. I take immense pleasure in welcoming one and all for this webinar on automated testing. First of all, I extend my uh, gratitude to the management of Francis Xavier Engineering College, our chairman, our managing director, for providing all the support and for providing all the initiative and, and for providing all the motivation in conducting all these webinars in a successful manner. Also, I Place on uh, place a uh, special uh, thanks to the general manager for development, Dr. K. J. Kumar, for all his uh, support, for all his uh, motivation, and, and for all his innovative idea, ideas in conducting all these webinars in a very successful manner. It's my immense pleasure to welcome Dr. Uh, Vail Murugan uh, to this webinar. I welcome you, sir, to this August gathering. Also, it's my immense pleasure to welcome Mr. S. Krishna Kumar the director for Francis Xavier Engineering College Alumni Association, who is the backbone for all the alumni activities that is taking place in our college. I welcome you, sir, to this August gathering. Also, it's my, uh, it's my immense pleasure to welcome my colleague, my comrade, and the head of the Department of Computer Science and Engineering Department, Professor P. Brinda, the, for all her tireless effort in conducting all these webinars in a very successful manner. It's my immense pleasure to welcome the resource person of this day, of this uh, webinar, uh, engineer Alan Selva Dennis, who is uh, uh, working with Tata Consultancy Services. Uh, it's my immense pleasure to welcome him, and also it's my immense pleasure to welcome the coordinators of this uh, webinar, uh, Professor Valarpati Ma'am, and also Professor uh, Mukesh Krishnan Sir, for coordinating this uh, webinar in a successful manner. Last but not the least, it's my immense pleasure to welcome all the participants of this webinar who have come here to, to attend this uh, webinar on automated testing. I uh, trust and I believe and I pray that you give, uh, get a lot of insights and a lot of uh, thought-provoking ideas from this webinar to proceed further in your uh, career and also in your endeavors. With this words of welcome, I uh, consider it as a great honor to introduce the resource person of this uh, uh, webinar uh, engineer Alan Selva Dennis. Uh, Alan Selva Dennis is a computer science engineer and also he has com completed his post graduation in ME in networking from Francis Xavier Engineering College. His area of interest uh, includes uh, networking, uh, security, and also uh, testing, and also uh, programming. And uh, he is uh, working in the area of uh, testing, and today he is uh, with us to share his uh, expertise on the area of automated testing. So I consider it as a very, as a great honor to welcome you one and all, and also to introduce the resource person of this webinar. So with these words of uh, welcome and introduction, I uh, hand over the session to the resource person, engineer Alan Selva Dennis. Over to engineer Alan Selva Dennis for the session. Thank you. Hi all, um, myself Alan, I'm working in TCS as system engineer, and we are going to see about automation testing okay so let me share my screen okay. so first of all what is automated testing okay so once a developer uh, completes developing his software the next phase it goes to his testing yeah. Now, uh, any product which is being developed or which is being produced in a factory 
or anything maybe it needs to be tested before it is given to the customer so testing is a very important phase of any product development so uh, when the automation te automation testing is using of automation tools to test the same product whatever product that may be in our case it is a software design developed by the developer okay so our automation testing is a software testing technique to test and compare the actual outcome with the expected outcome so when the developer develops uh, software he knows what it is going to do so the tester he is going to use these tools to test whether that the software is producing the expected outcome okay so that is what automated testing is and even though there is a manual automation manual testing methods why are you preferring going to automated testing okay uh, whenever a software because the softwares are being used by people only so a guy can sit and directly test whether the software is working fine or not so why we use automated testing because the points are like uh, it really saves time and money because computers are basically faster than us so it really saves time and money and human beings they are prone to make errors so while computers are not so they really improve accuracy and the output from a computers are usually reliable and the nowadays the most of the automation testing tools are open source hence which makes them reusable and as we as i already said it doesn't require a human being a computer can do the testing itself without anyone monitoring or without anyone triggering or anything okay so it it's a complete package so the companies are now preferring automation testing more than compared to the manual testing okay when to choose automation testing okay like not all the cases can be tested automatically using automation tools uh like the cases the test cases should be the same the like for example if you are taking a web page means the web elements should remain the same same the login button should be in the login button the cases should not be changing every time so when the test cases are the same and when the risk factors are too high like if a product in a product if the tester skips some if he misses to check test some part means and if the product is very crucial to the to the consumer then in such cases the the companies are preferring automation testing because human beings are prone to errors okay and in some cases the product might be very big and it might need need yeah, a lot of steps to check the check it manually okay so when when we deploy a tool to do that it will do it however big that uh, case may be it will do it automatically and very fastly too and when the so when the tool is doing the job of a human being it usually does it faster and it saves time so whenever we need these things like repeated test cases high risk when the high, when the test cases are really a high crucial important things and when the test cases are very big and we have less time in this in these cases we prefer to do automated testing okay so next comes the question how okay first we have to the company has to decide whether they have to do it the testing manually or uh, automatically because the automation testing it needs its own platform like to automate it in the first case they need uh, well technical technically knowledge people okay from that so the company has to decide whether they can do it automatically or manually then they have to acquire the tools like the software hardware record the knowledge record okay then they have to introduce the automation testing into the already existing manual development or manual automation things they are doing testing things they are doing then they have to plan the scripts they have now when the tools are in place the hardware people are everything in place then there comes the designing phase where the testing scripts are being designed and developed next we can execute the test scripts which are developed in the previous phase and run the test cases 
and when the results are good we can give it to the customer or when the results are bad we can give the product back to the developer and ask him to correct it okay that's how the automation test is being done okay in some cases like when the test cases that are newly designed are and not executed manually at least once okay like for the for the for a test case to be automated it needs to be tested manually at least once then only we will know the steps involved in it so that we can automate it effic efficiently okay test cases for which the requirements are frequently changing cannot be automated not be tested automatically using the automation tools and some test cases will be done on an ad hoc basis the coder the developer might be developing something and he might be something will hit his mind and he might randomly want to test his software for that we cannot use the tools testing tools and all he has to design his own test case and he has to do it manually okay so when the test cases are random and the requirements are changing randomly and when the test cases are not even tested manually at least once these cannot be tested using automation tools okay what all testing can be automated almost all the testings all the testing methods can be automated using automation tools like we have the smoke testing in case okay, smoke testing is a verification method that can ensure that the product is stable and 100% functional okay when the developer completes his development it comes to a tester he just to test test the functionality okay like uh, when the when the when the login page whether we are able to write, type the user id in the password box whether you are able to type the password and when the when the log when we get the login button or it is logging in when the user didn't give the password and, and he is mistakenly clicking login it, it has to throw an error like all the functionalities will be tested in the smoking smoke testing okay next comes the unit testing um unit testing in unit testing each and individual part of the code will be tested like each and every function or each and every method okay whether they are whether they are well functioning as expected will be tested in the unit testing part of the testing part and the integration testing it is a level of software testing where individual units are combined and tested as a group the purpose of this level of testing is to expose faults in the interaction between integrated units okay like when various components may be integrated into a single product okay like in our in our mobile phone like sms is one component mms is another one uh, call a, ca contacts is one component they are all working together as a single thing in our phone right so whether they are able to integrate in, inter, integrate into a single thing single product and work fine the like that will be tested in the integration testing functional testing is a type of software testing that validates the software system against the functional requirements specifications the purpose of functional tests is to test each function of the software application by providing appropriate input okay like as i said here there will be various components and this functional test will test each component for its their complete functionality okay they will give the like in the calculator if you are trying if you are validating the additional part addition addition part they will give the input like 10 plus 10 and the expected output should be naturally 20 okay that functions will be tested and keyword testing the keyword driven testing or these are actually uh, action word based testing this is used to speed up automated testing by utilizing the keywords of a common set of actions okay a keyword test driven testing is a scripting technique that uses data files to contains the keywords related to the application being tested okay mm. 
regression testing is a type of software testing to confirm that a recent program or code change has not adversely affected existing features okay when the new versions are released okay when version 1 is being updated to version 2 it should not affect the already working components okay and there might be new functions or components added to the already uh, in the new version but the older version components should not be stopped should not have any trouble working in the new version also okay that will be tested in the regression testing part next is the data driven testing data driven testing it is also called as the table driven testing okay is a software testing methodology that is used in the testing of computer software to describe testing done using a table of conditions directly as test inputs and verifiable outputs as well as the process where test environment settings and control are not hard coded okay mm, they will give like very they will it's a rand, they will have the predefined data sets for testing the code okay they the various environments in which the program should be tested will be predefined in a in a table or something and it will be passed as a parameter to the test to test each and everything okay next is the black box testing uh, this should be most of mostly everyone should be aware of this black box testing also known as the behavioral testing is a software testing method in which the internal structure design implementation of the item being tested is not known to the tester these tests can be functional non functional though usually this will be done as a functional testing okay okay so there okay that is the those are the various type of testings so coming to the automation testing there are lot of tools which are commonly used now uh, okay like we know the visual studio robotium soap ui selenium these are all the popular ones and robotium it is a popular automation testing framework for android okay it supports native and hybrid applications and makes writing automated black box test cases easy for android it also integrates seamlessly with uh, various testing frameworks like ant maven okay which helps to run test cases very easily come to the selenium it is an automated software testing tool for testing web applications it automates browsers okay uh, it we will see it elaborately in the coming portions uh, it is widely used for testing web applications visual studio we all know the visual studio there is one particular version for testing the for using for using for test purposes there is one visual studio test professional okay that version this is the most comprehensive testing solution for all microsoft platforms um it uh, using that uh, visual studio test professional we can easily design develop and test our applications on multiple platforms okay for whichever things we use visual studio to code we can run test cases in it uh, easily and soap ui it is popular because it is open source okay and web service test application for service oriented architectures and rest test architectures okay it offers automated functional testing automated load testing and compliance testing it also offers mocking and simulation features apart apart from web service inspections okay these are the some of the tools which are widely used in industry now and there are much more tools also apart from this but these are the very common ones okay and of those uh, i will be giving you a small snippet of what automation testing is using the selenium today so 
actually selenium it is used for, as i mentioned earlier it is used for testing web applications it is it is actually very popular because it is a open source and it has wide compatibility to for browsers and operating systems it also supports various programming languages like java python etc and one of the main thing is it is reusable we can use the same code again and again okay and it also supports parallel execution through which we can run various tests at a single point of time and to its usage it talk it actually requires very less hardware which for for these characters only the companies are preferring selenium for web based testings a lot okay the selenium it contains three main components ide rc and grid so ide is integrated development environment through this we can simply record and play back the scripts okay when steps are like the same when the whenever the uh, whenever the steps are like uh, one when the test cases include only like 5 to 10 steps or 1 to 5 steps this can be easily recorded using the ide and played back that will do the recorded thing again and again and again and again, and again. okay it is just an front end tool okay so and rc it stands for remote control uh, it is a server and launches the browser it acts as an api uh, between the selen for the selenium library and we need we need to use it with an uh, supported language to automate our testing application okay okay and the finally the selenium grid it is used for launching the multiple browsers with supported operating system in parallel we can run the scripts on different browsers in parallel it allows you to easily run multiple tests in parallel on multiple machines in a heterogeneous environment okay selenium selen selenis is nothing but the selenium commands um usually we will write the scripts to, to scripts using selenium to test whatever we want so that uh, script is called as selenis okay and the common way to use selenium is with eclipse and we can see the sample code below okay using selenium as i said this is since it is a web based up, uh, web application testing tool we, we can use it to do all sort of commands like launch the browser go to this web page close the tab create new tab log into this web page right click left click download and software download a mp3 we can do all sorts of things open a pop up okay select a window move to next tab we can do all sort of things which we usually do with an web browser using selenium commands okay like as i that's what is mentioned here let me show you a simple script of selenium okay we are going to use java programming language to use selenium to control chrome browser 
and try a simple login function okay for the selenium to actually work it needs the selenium drivers okay which i already have here this is the selenium client drivers okay and which browser we are going to use we need that driver also so the browser i am going to use is google chrome so i have the chrome driver here okay have a sample snippet uh, already done here so you don't should be aware of how i think you guys are already aware how to create a project package and do a simple java coding in eclipse considering that we to the existing java package java coding we just have to add the selenium libraries the one which i showed you the earlier okay these things these things we have to import the library into our java project and we have to import them here it will okay here is where i have called the chrome driver so what we are going to do is uh, open facebook and type in my id and password and login okay so like to open facebook what we will do we will open first we will open chrome then maximize then type in that url type in some our email id give in our password then click on login these are the actions we do right the same things i have given it here this is once the chrome driver is declared the driver is asked to open facebook then the driver is given the been given the instruction to maximize the chrome window and once the facebook is loaded it will give us the output like page is opened and it will enter the id the id which i had given in the in the email id and it will enter this password in the password field and it will run it okay let me run let's run the program see i did nothing here but it is automatically logging in since the id and password is not correct it came into this window okay enter doesn't match any account now this is a so let me explain you how that selenium how the selenium does these things okay so what we see here is an html or css based output which we bear which the web server actually gives us a respond to our web browser and our browser displays it in to us okay so all these are just web elements when we can when we hit the f12 key we can see that see the elements of these web pages right okay so the 
you can see right the driver dot find element by id email okay when i click here it is highlighting here the id of this first text box is email so the driver will find the element with the id email and then fill the id in there similarly it will find the element with id password pass pass and it will give the predefined password which i have given here and here in the same way we can see that the id for the login button is u underscore zero underscore b okay and i have given that here also driver dot find element by id u underscore zero underscore b dot click okay so it's basically tells the chrome driver to click that button once the password is entered so once the pair and for our understanding we have given that password entered here Let me run the problems. It opens the Facebook. Okay. You guys can actually try this code and yeah. okay your facebook id goes here. i have your, your password goes here and if you run this code means it should actually log into your facebook okay this is not actually an testing but uh, just to <laughs> show you that how the chrome driver can how the selenium along with the chrome driver can work with a web browser to control web application I, I have shown this thing okay i can actually show you one test case using our fx ec website itself yeah. so Consider a scenario like we have to test the availability of this web page. Okay, just the availability, nothing complicated than that. Whether the site is up and running or not, and you have to test it every day. Okay, because sometimes if not if left unmonitored, this site might go down due to some technical errors or something else. Something okay, so we are going to test this website daily. Like whether this site is daily up or not. Okay, that can be done using Selenium and can be automated. So as I said earlier, uh, what we can do is what I'm going to do is okay. Uh, I'm going to give this URL to the code. And what it will do is once the page is loaded, it will try and click this home button. Okay. And if the home page loads, it is going to assume that the page is working fine. And if the script fails in between, in, in between means the script will take it as the web page is not live. Okay. And we can actually ask the script to 
send an intimation mail to someone like the page is down please do the needful or something that can be done further so i will show you how this can be done using selenium okay It is actually completely similar to that uh, Facebook thing. Let me remove the unwanted things. Okay. So here we are declaring the Chrome driver. And we are asking the Chrome driver to open fancy saver on dot in contact. Maximize the window. Once the window is loaded successfully, it will print this message. And okay, and what this does is it will actually wait for 500 seconds for that. This is the X path of that uh, home button which I showed you in that page. And web driver wait will wait for 500 seconds for this page to load. Okay. Within 500 seconds, if this page doesn't load, means it will throw an error message and throw an error message that the page is not working fine. Okay. When the page loaded and it is able to find this home button, it will just print that I am able to find that in this home button. And when the contact page is loaded successfully, it will hit that home button. And finally, when the page is loaded, it will assume this. It will assume that the page is loading successfully. Okay. So if you are correct, it will open that contact page first. Ah, see, it hit the home button. It has shown the message, Fairfax EC website blocking proper. Okay. What we can do is we can compile this Java file, put it with a simple Unix script in a Unix server, and we can schedule it to run every day morning eight o'clock. So what it will do is that Unix script will run this Java file, test whether that website is working fine. Okay, and in case if the if a if this JavaScript fail means that Unix script will mail us like we can set the Unix script to mail a particular person like the, script, the website is down. Please do the appropriate things. Okay. So that's it from my end. Oh, 
hope you all understood had as i have got some idea about automation testing from this session thank you all great people are known for their gratitude it's my immense pleasure to propose the vote of thanks for this webinar on automated testing first of all i thank the lord almighty for all his manifold blessings he has showered in conducting this webinar in a very successful manner also it's my honor to thank the management of francis xavier engineering college the chairman and the managing director of francis xavier engineering college for all their support and for all their motivation in conducting this webinar on automated testing in a very successful manner also it's my privilege to thank dr k jaykumar the general manager for development for all his support for all his innovative ideas and for all his guidance he has provided in conducting this webinar in a very successful manner also i consider it as a great privilege to thank dr vel murgan the principal of francis xavier engineering college for all his motivation he has provided to conduct this webinar in a successful manner i consider this it as a great privilege and a honor to thank mr s krishna kumar the director for francis xavier engineering college alumni association for all his guidance for all the motivation he has provided in conducting this webinar in a very successful manner i wish to thank professor p brinda the hod of csc department for all her motivation and for all the guidance and for all the support she has provided in conducting this webinar in a very successful manner also it's my great joy to thank the resource person of this webinar engineer alan selva Den dennis the darling alumnus of Uh, computer science and engineering department francis xavier engineering college for coming with us and sharing his expertise on automated testing i also wish to thank him for all the support he is rendering for our department and he is also the board of studies member for our, our computer science and engineering department and with the from the bottom of the heart i wish to thank him for all the support he is rendering thank you alan selva dennis also it's my privilege to thank the colleagues and comrades of computer science and engineering department for the support provided in conducting this webinar in a very successful manner a special thanks to the coordinators of this webinar uh, professor balarmati ma'am and professor mukesh krishnan for conducting this webinar in a very successful manner and last but not the least i wish to thank all the participants of this webinar who have come here and who have participated in this webinar and who got who got benefited from this webinar and wish and i wish and trust that this webinar would have been a uh, thought provoking and a very useful webinar for you uh, last but not the least i wish to thank you one and all for connecting this webinar in a very successful manner thank you and uh, god bless